Hi everyone, welcome to my blog and for today's blog is I am going to tell you our story on where did we meet until I became Mrs. Trishel. This picture was taken after the day he arrived in Manila. Then we met my cousin and her husband at the Mall of Asia. We spent quality time in Manila. We went to places where we can make memories and to know each other at the same time. We spent so much time in, we both happy um, strolling around Manila. This is our first selfie together. Then it's time for him to meet my family. And then he got baptized there because at first we planned to get married in Philippines. But it didn't happen. Things change. We spent our first Valentine's together. This is how our story begins. We met online. We didn't expect that love will come along. A real, pure, pure and genuine love even from a distance. We talked every day until he decided to visit me in the Philippines. I knew that I made the right decision when I accepted him. But there were lots of problems, especially with some relatives who just didn't understand our relationship. I had to argue with some people just to make them understand what I feel. Making choices was hard, but I trust and love my fiancé more than those relatives who hates me. I know that he is worth fighting for. We tied the knot on the 15th, 15th of December 2014. It was the happiest moment of our life. He made me very happy and when I look into his eyes, I knew that he is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. We are now six years in marriage and with one beautiful little girl, Ayana, who is now three years old. I am so happy and very thankful to our Almighty God for giving me a very understanding and loving husband to be with me for the rest of my life. This is our house and this picture was taken after our marriage after we got married and these are some of the pictures that we spent together. This one and of course this was we attended Christmas party. With our beautiful and lovely daughter, Ayana Danielle Villa Custom Trishel. She loves her little puppy. Our wedding ceremony. <laughs> Gathered here with you today in the midst of the majesty of these great smoky mountains and the beauty and serenity of this chapel is the presence of God. Love shared is the most wondrous of all experiences. And when two people allow themselves to share true love, they join together in body and mind and in spirit. Dale, Janice, Ideally, a marriage is that place where two individual expressions can join together and create a safe space for one another. It is in this place where the two of you will bring your joys, your sorrows, and even your fears because you know that there is someone there that truly and honestly loves you unconditionally. As you walk the rest of your lives together, let me encourage you to be gentle to each other caring with each other, be patient with each other, but above all else, I encourage you to learn to listen and to hear each other. Although the two of you never physically can become one, the two of you can create that one new space. It is in this place where true love will grow. Your home will be your kingdom, so let love reign there. As I remember all of the words of Apostle Paul, there are faith, hope, and love. In the greatest 
this of these is light. Okay. Now let me take your body and I'll put you to work then, okay? You hold now, Dale, look lovingly into Janice's eyes and repeat these words of her. Janice, I promise you my love. Without any limits, I promise to honor and respect you. I will love you in sickness and in health. I will be there in your joy and in your sorrow. And as our love grows, I will plan and dream with you. Janice, I will love you forever. Okay? And Janice, please repeat these words to Dale. Dale, I promise you my love. Without any limits. I promise to honor and respect you. I will love you in sickness and in health. I will be there in your joy and in your sorrow. And as our love grows, I will plan and dream with you. Dale, I will love you forever. Okay. Dale, Janice, the vows you have just agreed to will be shown externally now by the wearing of your ring. As you both know, the ring is in the shape of a circle. It has no beginning and it has no end. From this day forward, let your love for each other, here's your ring, continuous and without end. So Dale, as you place this ring on Janet's finger, do you make that commitment to love and honor to death do you pray? And Janet, as you place this ring on Dale's finger, do you make that commitment to love and honor him to death do you pray? Okay. Okay. And if I can have y'all separate a little bit and join each other on each side of the unity candles. Janice, you on this side, Dale on this side. And Dale and Janice, these unity candles are symbolic of, of y'all lives as y'all arrived at our chapel today. Y'all was both a whole complete life into the world as you was created. Your decision today is to combine your life, your lives, and your energy into a one, as the book of Genesis said. And the two shall become one. So Dale, if you would take your candle, and Janice, if you would take your wood, and combine your light. And notice that this new light is more stronger and brighter than your own individual light, but yet your own light continues to exist. Y'all put it back here. Join each other behind the candle, pull both hands and bow your head, and let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time of joy and celebration in these two wonderful lives. We know that your blessing is on this union. We simply ask that you give Dale and Janice the ability and the talent and even the willingness that they might discover how to let each day of their marriage stand on its own so that when they kiss goodnight each evening, they will carry no hurt or anger or grievance until the next day. And as they awaken next to each other each morning, refreshed and renewed in your light, Lord, that they continue to extend joy, care, and respect to each other. Father, we thank you for this union. We thank you for all that comes from it. In your son's name we pray. Amen. So Dale and Janice, what you have come here today to say publicly, I'm sure you have known in your heart for some time now. It is your commitment now to love, to work, to laugh, to play, to dream together for the rest of your lives. We honor you for making this commitment. It is a commitment to yourselves. It is a commitment to each other, but most importantly, it is a commitment to God. So by the power given me by the state of Tennessee and the church of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Dale, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>
I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.